Welcome to season two of Escape from Samsara. In this episode, we're going to take the opportunity to look at one, two, three, four, maybe five different boats, which is a lot of boats in a one week time period. Well, just another day here at the candle factory, but we are making some progress on getting ready to go see another Lagoon 420. I think Stephanie's downstairs scheduling some flights right now. So when we go down and check on her, see what she has to say, see how things are going on that front. She's got, she's got the, the system down pretty well as far as figuring out the best way to get the flights and uh, get us in there to the cheapest we possibly can. Hey, what are you working on? Scheduling flights. <laughs> Trying to um, find us flights to go to Key West to um, look at that lagoon down. What just... It's a squirrel. Oh, just went past the window. <laughs> sitting in our office mm -hmm. but <laughs> trying to find flights to um, go look at another boat and I'm trying to piece together we're trying to do this in correlation with going to my niece's graduation um, so we're trying to I'm booking them on different airlines I found it's most efficient um, to do this because we have three different legs we're trying to fly and um, it's Tuesday, and I have been told and read that Tuesdays are the best day to book flights. I don't know why. Um, I'm kind of testing this theory. I've been playing with it, and it seems they do per drop the prices on Tuesdays. So anyway, so I've just booked one leg. Um, well, how many how many weeks out are we from needing to get down there? Um, a little shy of a month out. Okay. So I've just booked a leg to Miami, and then we're going to be looking around down in the Miami Fort Lauderdale Keys area. And <clears throat> from there, we're going to be flying Miami Jacksonville, going to my niece's graduation, and then from there back from Jacksonville to Atlanta. Atlanta, yeah. Oh. So that's what I'm trying to do is piece all these flights together. Right now, I have us on a different airline every flight because it's the most economical way to do this. Okay. So, that's what I'm doing as I'm eating my lunch from the Hispanic um, grocery store, and it's just really amazing. Um, it's a, a torta. <clears throat> and something I did, knowing that we found out that we're going to be in Jacksonville on a business day, not a weekend, uh, discovered that in the St. Augustine area, there is, seems to be a lot of cats and uh, the catamaran company's got an office there. So I reached out to them to see about looking at anything that they might have available. And so we're gonna try to look at a lot of stuff. Uh, it's always good to kind of, whenever we're some places, to um, take advantage of being there, looking as much as we can. <laughs> Leg one, first boat, headed to Fort Lauderdale, out of Atlanta. We got into Fort Lauderdale. We caught up with Larry at Just Cats and went over to see Suma Soul, a Lagoon 420. While it's a nice enough boat, the primary thing that stuck out to us was the cork flooring or decking that they put all over it. it just didn't look right. Good morning from the Florida Keys. Headed down to Key West 
to look at um, a boat this morning. Flew in yesterday to Fort Lauderdale. Um, looked at one up there on our way into the Keys. There's a Lagoon 420 up there also. Travel was fine. Yeah, a little, a little bit of chaos. A little bit of chaos from car we, rental um, error made a little wrong location, but it, it all worked out. But we're in one, so it worked out. <laughs> 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 we're moving. <laughs> the key to traveling, we've learned, is to roll with it. Roll with it. <laughs> Just figure it out as you go along. But yeah, this morning should be pretty interesting. Uh, we have this boat down in Key West we want to look at. Uh, then we'll spend the rest of the day down there. I'm anticipating kind of looking around the marinas and whatnot and seeing what else might be available down there. You might see a, a boat with a for sale sign on it or something that we didn't know about, so we'll look at those. Hold on, going to pan out. Um, we're headed, I think we're about to cross over into Marathon Key right now. We're in Key West now, at the docks, and there's our target right there. First mate Stephanie and son Tyler, who now lives in the Keys and doesn't wear shoes.
after Aria, it was time for us to take in some of the Key West scene, which mostly just includes bars. Picked up a couple of cigars, walked around, and had a good time with our son. At the end of the day, we headed north up to Marathon and got a hotel room. And then we spent the next day just sitting around waiting to see the Lagoon 380 that we were there to see. Checked out some of the sights, ate some of the food. A lot of it was just sitting in a car waiting for the rain to go by. Finally, it was time to get back on a flight and head to Jacksonville, where we met up with our oldest son, Parker, and we took him with us over to the St. Augustine Marina area to check out some boats. This is the first time that he has seen the types of boats that we are looking at, and uh, I think he was quite uh, surprised at how big they actually were. This here is a Fountain Peugeot. The Oriana, really nice boat, great layout. Something we really do like the Fountain Peugeots. Unfortunately, this one was just a little bit out of our price range. So, what was the result of our trip? We saw one boat down in Fort Lauderdale, second boat down in Key West third boat in Marathon, fourth boat up in St. Augustine. There was a fifth boat in there. I can't remember what it was called. And what we came away with was we made an offer on a boat, the one down in Key West, Aria. We look forward to moving forward with it. And as soon as we can get that house sold, which is a contingency that we put on the boat, we're going to be out of here. So we're happy campers now. I think we found the boat that we want. to Atlanta, we're happy to know that we are one step closer to sailing away.